One of the leading sex symbols of the 1950s and 1960s, film actress Jane Mansfield was born Vera Jane Palmer on April 19, 1933 in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, to Vera J. and Herbert W. Palmer. Her parents were well-to-do, with her father a successful attorney in Philipburg, New Jersey, where Jane began her girlhood. Her parents were both born with the same surname, and her ancestry was seven-eighths British Isles English and Cornish, and one-eighth German. Jane was a talented pianist and violin player as a child. Tragedy struck when Jane was three, when her father suddenly died of a heart attack. Three years later, her mother remarried and the family moved south to Dallas, Texas. The family bought a little home where she had violin concerts in the driveway of their home. Up until the move, Jane had no aspirations of being a star, but with maturity and the fact that she devoured the fan magazines of the day convinced her to try acting. Amazingly, her IQ was reported to be a 163, and she attended the University of Dallas and participated in little theater productions. In 1949, at age 16, she married a man five years her senior named Paul Mansfield, the next year when Jane was 17. Their daughter, Jane Marie Mansfield, was born in November. After some productions there and elsewhere, Jane decided to go to Hollywood. Her first film was a bit role as a cigarette girl in Pete Kelly's Blues, 1955. Although the roles in the beginning were not much, she was successful in gaining those roles because of her ample physical attributes which placed her in two other films that year, Hell on Frisco Bay, 1955, and Illegal, 1955. Her breakout role came the next year with a featured part in The Burglar, 1957. By the time she portrayed Rita Marlowe in Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter, 1957, and Playgirl After Dark, 1960, Jane was now known as the poor man's Marilyn Monroe. She did not get the plum roles that Marilyn got in her productions. Instead, Jane's films were more of a showcase for her body more than anything else. Jane did have a real talent for acting, but the movie executives insisted she stay in her dumb blonde stereotype roles. For the balance of her career, Jane never received any standout performances although she was more than capable of doing them. By the 1960s, Mansfield's career had options that grew lower. She made somewhat embarrassing guest appearances like on the popular game show What's My Line? 1950, she appeared on the show four times in 1956, 1957, 1964, and 1966 and many other 1950s and 1960s game shows. By 1962, she was dropped from 20th Century Fox and the rest of her career had smaller options like being in B-movies and low-budget movies or performing at 